Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. And thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube page, guys. I want to just say a, a rousing thank you and just a, a completely... um I don't even know how to, y'all, I don't know. I'm just speechless. I just thank you guys so much for downloading the book, which is what we're, I'm circling back. We're going to be talking about the book some more today. A little small, tiny ebook that I put out for you guys on God told me to move now. What? So I told you guys in the video yesterday that, you know, it's not a whole lot of information, but it was just enough information to make you think. But I knew that I was going to follow up and surprise you guys with a second video just to say thank you. And I'm going to specifically break down five parts of the 10 things that I listed on the page that talks about if you are obsessing and overthinking about this move. Now, I do want to say something prophetically. When I was praying, because I prayed for everyone who would receive this book, basically, I just told God, whoever you have led me to write this book for, I pray that it gets into their hands. And I saw when that happened that the level of frustration that some of you are experiencing with your move, you know, this is going to step on some toes, but some of you kind of want like a magic thing to happen and then boom, you, you get into something and it changes everything. That is not what this process is like. So I'm not trying to step on your toes, but y'all know I keep it a buck on here. I'm not coming with the foolishness. So if you're looking for like some magic answer or for something that's going to be like, oh, this ain't nothing, well, then this is probably not it for you. But I do want to tell you the five things that God wanted me to speak on specifically for those of you who did receive the book. And I just want to break these things down because these particular, these five things is 10 things on the list. So if you don't have the ebook, definitely go download it. But this is what this page was supposed to do. It was supposed to make you sit and say, okay, I'm feeling some type of way. I don't have no money. I'm stressed out. You're so, this is where God wants us all when we are moving to humble ourselves. Some people cannot get to the move because you're not humbling yourself. You're too busy complaining. God took this away from me and I don't have no money for that. And it, yo, like we have to gently learn how to become willing vessels. And I can say that to you from myself. I have had this issue before in my life. And my goal is to one day say that I don't. Okay. And I just want to be clear that these next five things that I'm going to mention, for some of you, this is going to be the answer that God has been telling you, even though you downloaded the book, but you didn't catch it because your mindset and reading the book was different. So if, if you are hearing this and you are getting this for me for the breakdown and you just feel like there's more, please go back and look at it. And when you revisit it, you really have to ask God. I literally say it's going to require you to surrender and stop tripping. And I said, these are 10 reasons, right? These 10 reasons might possibly give you some perspective. But let me tell y'all something. If you don't allow yourself to get the perspective, you really can't be mad at anybody. There's a weird thing right now that I'm noticing a lot of people are experiencing. And I feel like the enemy has a lot of people in a chokehold with this. But it's almost like this. Like people get stuck on their feelings and they don't realize that they still have to do the work. You still have to do the scary thing. You still have to do the thing that is not necessarily fun. You want to know why? Because that's just what comes with it. You know what I'm saying? That's just what comes with it. And that's why it's important that, you know, one of the prayers that I have, it just talks about this is a time of much needed clarity and understanding wherever you lead me. I will surrender to your instructions. I trust that I will land where you want me to be. Y'all, it is so important that your language changes. If you keep talking about how bad somebody did you and how, you know, it's this and it's that, you are going to miss it. You are going to miss it because that is not the move. I'm telling you, it is not the move, y'all. I'm telling you, it's not the move. You have to expand your thinking, okay? And I'm going to say this one thing. This is one 
a quote that I have in here from Dale Carnegie. And then I'm going to give you all these five because I still, again, I think some of you who have gotten a book, if it did not impact you again, I was praying. The Lord was just saying, when you drop this video, you need to, you need to say some things that's going to trigger so they can go back and look at it because I know there's an anointing to break the fear of moving for some of you with the spiritual move. Some of y'all, that's your heaviest thing. You know, and I did see that there were people, there are people that are going through all three moves. Hit in the comments, type in the comments if you're going through a physical, spiritual, and mental move. Because some people are going through a lot and that those are the people that's experiencing the heaviest frustration because it feels like so much, you don't even know what to do next, right? So hear this out. This is Dale Carnegie. It says, inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about, think about it. Go out and get busy. I think that's brilliant. And sometimes if it's not, if it's not, it may not be the way that you're thinking, but let me tell you something about going out and getting busy. Going out and getting busy could hit different depending on who you are. Okay. So if you do go out and you get busy, at, at least it's showing God that you're taking some type of action. Now I am going to jump in on these five. And I really pray to God that this is going to break that yoke. Again, it's got some people in the chokehold right now. You know, you know what they're saying now. I know you like to tussle. You want to be mad. And I don't have any money. And what is God doing? Listen, hear me out. I know I have been there too, but we got to dead that, y'all. We on here, my goal is to make sure that you understand why owe you. This is not about me. This is about you. I am here to serve and help you. And God dog it, I'm going to do it. So listen to me. You got to help me out though, y'all. You got to partner with me. I, we all on the same level. I'm not greater than you. You're not greater than me. Everybody just different. Nobody better than the other person. Some people just make strides. And like your boy say, they get busy. And some people not getting busy. And some of you are letting the idea of not having a thing, feeling like, well, I've always been the person who went to, to do this spiritually, but God is saying, hey, you got to expand and do this now. It's going to be scary. Some of you have been brought up in certain church foundations. He, God is going to bust that up. He wants you to see the church the way he wants you to see the church. Some of you are in bondage. Uh-oh, I'm stepping on some toes, but I'm telling you, that's why that move is stifling you because it's busting up things and ideologies and things that, that shouldn't be so. You know what I'm saying? Like God just doesn't want that for you anymore. He wants you... To really understand his greatness so that he can get the glory. He wants all of you to understand that if you are obsessing and overthinking about your move, whatever type of move it is, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. So the first thing is some of you just need to transform. And usually the people that need to be transformed are usually complaining the most about the move. I know you don't like that, but we shooting it straight because some of y'all are missing y'all money your miracles and your blessings because you're not moving because you don't want to transform. You want everything to be served on a, on a silver platter and you're getting mad at people because it's not coming like that. You're getting mad at yourself, mad at God. I don't have no friends. I don't have no money. I don't have, listen, God needs you to transform. And I talked about this in here too. That's Romans 12 and two. First of all, your transformation has to start with your mind. That's the first one. So sometimes God has to do a mind transformation and then that, that sets you up if he wants you to move physically. Your mind is right and open to it so now you can move physically, right? The next thing is God is trying to move you in order to get you into your next season. Many of you have been praying about a particular season, right? A particular season. And you are wondering why, Lord, I thought this was my season, my turn and my time. He's like, yeah, daughter. Yes, yeah, son, you don't want to move, though. I can't even get that thing popping. Your next season is not even going to start until you spiritually disconnect from this, abu this spiritually abusive situation you're in that you keep riding out because it's all you know and it's what people tell you, but your gut is telling you they fake. It's not what you're supposed to do. I'm telling you. Some of you are not getting to your next season and you're angry at God because you don't want to move to do it. But I'm showing you, y'all. First of all, prophecy comes in part. These are words of revelation. And the parts that I called out as prophetic, please take it as such and test the word and give it back to the Father. I also want you to understand this, though. 
is going to require action. Please go and read Proverbs. I did a video a couple of months ago and I said, everybody want, everybody want the, uh, the Psalms, but nobody want to do the Proverbs. The Psalms is, ooh, it's, it's marvelous in your eyes. And oh, I'm the head and I, no, no, no. <clears throat> I'm the cornerstone. I used to be this. And now I'm that. Oh, I'm getting success. That's what Psalms sound like. They got some sketchy parts in Psalms. And for the most part, is that. But Proverbs is like, yo, <laughs> if you don't work, you don't eat. If you tussle, I'm going to deal with you. If you got an attitude, I'm going to shut it down. If you don't want to get no wisdom, you're going to be dumb. If you Like, so that's the part you got to Get out of that chokehold from the enemy now. You got to get out of that because it's messing you up. Now, check this one out. This is about to blow people's mind. For some of you who just skirted past and looked at this boom, boom, and threw it out, you missed some of the meat. That's why God has me bringing this back to you because you got to catch the meat and potatoes. You got to sit with it. You have to rest. Yes, I said it. Some of you, your movement is going to require you to sit down. You have to rest your nerves. You have to rest yourself. You have got to rest yourself. Please, my God. And you know who I'm talking to. You know who you are. I'm going to go on to the next one because you know who you are. I might not know who you are, but God knows who you are. The next one is you've been praying and asking God for something. Who am I speaking to? You have been praying and asking God for something and you do not realize that you need to move. It's not even about having a plan. It's not even about knowing where you're going in some instances, depending on what the Lord is telling you. But you just need to move. Some of y'all need to move out of this job because it's keeping you out of the thing that you actually put all your hard blood, sweat and tears into. Some of you need to move because if you're praying for that husband, that husband is in that place God told you to move. OK, some of you need to move because you have been praying about your income, but you don't understand it. You don't understand that you're thinking about how you make money now. You don't understand that God is trying to get you to move because there's a there's a work in your hands that he's going to bless. And you don't even know that you can do this successfully yet. Hallelujah. Listen, this is for somebody. You don't even know that you have this gift yet until you move. That's why you need to move. Some of you. You have got to understand the prayer will be answered in your move. This, this is specifically number seven. You've been praying for something and you need to move for it to be answered. God is going to move and you're going to move with him. Okay. And the fifth one, I have a bonus one for y'all too. The fifth one is you have to change. I know you don't want to hear that, but you just have to change. It's not overcomplicated. It's not very wordy. You have to change. Some of you are angry about this move and you keep nicknaming it. I don't have no money. I don't know where to go. God took these people away. He added these people to me. He, you want to know something? Sometimes we are the issue and the problem. I know it sucks, but honey, we, we getting healing over here, baby. We ripping a bandaid off in this mug. I know I do it for myself. Listen, I can tell you. When I, when there are times I am genuinely unaware and what I have noticed with people, when people view you through a certain lens, even if you tell them what your truth is, and even if you explain to them that you genuinely didn't know because of what they think you should know, they're going to think you're lying. They're going to think that you're an awful person. I didn't, ooh, you've been like this. I didn't even know you were like this. It just turns into this horrible, horrible thing. But usually God allows those things because he's trying to incite change. And for some of you, moving is going to help you to change the way God needs you to change. Okay. And I'm going to do a bonus. This bonus one, I got, a, I got another video to go with this bonus one. But I'm talking again about the blind spots. You have blind spots that you can't see without some kind of move. Literally just went through this personally. This is not something I talk about on here, but I literally just went through this in the fall of 2021. I had been praying all 2021 and 2020 for God to show me blind spots. I had no idea he was going to show me these blind spots in the midst of me going through a going through a quote unquote villain season, which is something I have a video coming out on that. Y'all, that's actually going to be, it might be my next drop. I already have it queued up. I'm not sure if I'm going to drop that before I drop this other one, but it's called 
Are you the villain, the victim, or the victor? I am going to break down being the the quote unquote villain season. This that one is going to be really juicy and really good. So make sure if y'all want me to make that a premiere, let me know. I will do a live chat with that. But that one is going to be super good. I can tell you that now. I think I'm gonna put it on the podcast too. But with that being said. Sometimes you have to move to see your blind spots because if you're by yourself and you're in, a, in an environment where you're always in your head, you cannot see it for what it is. You're not going to be able to see it. But for me personally, I just kind of knew in my spirit they had things about myself that I didn't like. And I wasn't okay with it. Everybody not even willing to say that. I wasn't even willing to say that for a long time, but I just know I'm not perfect. And I got tired of feeling like I was fraudulent in some areas with myself because I just knew that there was some things that I just didn't like and I didn't go with. I didn't move with. And I knew the only way for me to really deal with it purely and honestly was for God to reveal it. I did not ask him to reveal it in the way that he did, <laughs> but I don't have no control over that. Um, I have to see, I, you know, I had to go see him about that, but, <laughs> uh, but needless to say all is well. And the prayer was answered. God showed me my blind spots, but trust me, that blind spot happened. And guess what, y'all? In my case, with my blind spots, it required a physical move. Once I got to the, the the spiritual move, I had to do a mental move. And then once I had the mental move, it was a spiritual move. And then it got me to the next season. Okay, so I'm going to close out with this message that I put in the book. It says, happiness doesn't have just one address. And Paulo Coelho said it best. If you're brave enough to say goodbye, life will reward you with a new hello. God is calling you. God is calling you to something that will require you to surrender and to basically stop tripping. I hope that this helped to give you more insight on the God told me to move. What now book? I hope that it helps you just a little bit more on your journey. I pray that you get closer to your move and please send me your move testimonies. If this inspired you to do the move and to take the leap of faith, please let me know. I will post it. I will reshare the testimony. I would love to hear that, but I love you guys. I thank you. Don't forget, go to I'm wired to inspire.com. Y'all, I am dropping. I will be dropping free eBooks with, with, with videos coming soon. I think I told y'all the next one is how do I forgive when I feel like I hate them? Yes, I am going to be writing the things that people think, but they are afraid to see. So I hope this blessed you guys. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.